Big upset by President-elect Trump is dominating most of the election headlines, but there were some, some surprising new laws also passed on Tuesday night. And that includes recreational marijuana being made legal right over the border, border in Massachusetts. News 8's anchor Scott McDonald tells us the race may be on for Connecticut to do the very same. Here's tonight's Closer Look. By 2018, anyone over 21 in Massachusetts should be able to walk into a store and buy marijuana. This is about the will of the people. Now Mass is scrambling to get the infrastructure in place to regulate and tax what's now a cash crop there. But if you think about it in the context of how long, even if you own a private business, how long it takes to get up and running, some of those deadlines are pretty tough. Connecticut Representative Juan Candelaria believes the timeline gives Connecticut a chance to beat the Bay State to selling and taxing recreational marijuana. If we come in next legislative session, we debate the policy and we get it approved by the end of the legislative session and have it into law into the new fiscal year, I think we can move forward. Connecticut already allows medicinal marijuana usage for over a dozen ailments. An infrastructure Candelaria believes already allows the state to move fast and capture all that cash from marijuana taxation. We cannot balance our budget in the backs of the working families. We have another stream of revenue that's right in our hands. A study done by the Marijuana Policy Group shows the economic impact recreational and legalized marijuana had in Colorado last year. Look at this number, $2.39 billion pumped into Colorado's economy last year. What else does it mean? Second largest excise revenue source in 2016, $121 million in taxes. And finally, take a look. That would mean it's three times larger, three times more money pumped in in tax revenue than from the sales of alcohol. Could be a much needed financial solution, according to Candelaria. Raise enough revenue to cover our deficits, to talk about drug prevention. Others believe the risk. Some of her friends didn't make it is not worth the reward. Nobody gets up in the morning and decides they're gonna shoot up heroin uh, starting from scratch. It's something that starts with alcohol, a uh, red cup down in the basement, or marijuana uh, joint out in the woods with your friends. Meeting at a sober house in Guilford, Bohan is a member of a coalition that works to reduce substance abuse in Connecticut's young people. We have a terrible problem now. We're just going to make it worse. He believes with the current opiate epidemic in Connecticut, legalizing marijuana is the last thing the state needs. It's truly a tragic, tragic uh, curse on our society. And the thought that we'd take a step that would make the addiction problem in Connecticut worse is, to me, is just really mind-boggling. In Guilford, Scott McDonald, News 8.